It's already been an action-packed year of development for StarCraft II, but Patch 3.7 is bringing even more content and features into the mix. There's so much to take in here that we felt compelled to make a video about it. First up, we've added a new destination to the main navigation bar that we're calling Collection. As the game has grown over the years, there have been an increasing number of ways for you to earn rewards in all the various game modes. We only see that trend continuing, so we thought it best to group all these customization elements under a single umbrella as a one-stop shop for personalizing your StarCraft II experience. From left to right, you can preview your collection of skins and even purchase new ones. Announcers, new with 3.7, will allow you to select and customize announcer voices by race for multiplayer. At release, we will be making voices for Raynor, Kerrigan, Artanis, Alarak, Abathur, and Swan available for purchase. Keep in mind that you can choose any announcer to support your game regardless of what race you're playing. Spawn more of those bulbous overlords. Emoticons, portraits, decals, and animations are great places to peruse your current collections and learn how to acquire any you may be missing. We've added new functionality to portraits by allowing you to display them in place of a clan logo. And for decals, you can now spray your chosen decal onto a map with a worker unit in-game. Also new with Patch 3.7 is the addition of Ghost Nova Terra as a co-op commander. Check out our new covert Spec Ops playstyle in our dedicated preview video. Lastly, we're extremely excited to be bringing a feature long requested by the StarCraft community in separating your matchmaking rating by race. No longer will you need to be concerned with taking a hit to your ladder ranking on your primary race when attempting to gain competitive experience with a new one. Thanks for watching, enjoy Patch 3.7, and we'll see you in game.